Hey guys, it's Ariana Davis here, and I am with the one, the only, Haley Steinfeld. Hi. We are going to be talking today about lots of fun stuff, music, eyewear line, lots of cool stuff happening. But first, we have a game of Refinery29 called Celeb1098, where we count back from 10 and we ask you some rapid fire questions. Oh gosh, okay. These are going to be intense. Okay, are I'm you ready? ready. I am. <laughs> Starting with number 10, something that you would never do again. Oh, I feel like I will live through these ex like certain experiences and be like, okay, never again. And, and now that you've asked me, I can't think of any of them. Um, I feel like I have yet to do something really stupid that I, I might regret. Mm -hmm. but number nine, your favorite trait about your zodiac sign. What is your zodiac sign? I'm Sagittarius. Sag. I feel like Sagittarius are supposed to be like a little mysterious. I feel like that's always kind of one Call of the things. mysterious. <laughs> I'm calling it mysterious <laughs> for you. Thank you. Number eight is your best excuse for being late. Oh, I, I, I don't really have any good excuses. I just apologize <laughs> until they forgive me. Um, excuse for being late? Traffic. Mm. Number seven, someone you want to meet in heaven. Oh, wow. It's a deep one, right? Yeah. Could be Michael Jackson. Could I was be literally thinking Michael and Whitney. Ooh, that's so funny. That's yeah. a good combo. Number six, a problem that you want to fix. I mean, there's like deep answers like racism, and then there's also like, you know, more like I want there to be less commercials on TV. I feel like I just you know want to watch stuff all the way through. So. Wow. Well, Maybe. I agree with both of those things. So. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, number five, a favorite song for a drive. There's a song called I Like Me Better by this artist Love, um, and I love driving in the car listening to that song, especially by the ocean. I don't know. There's something about it. Nice. Okay, so I have yeah. to check that out. Number four is, what was the last text that you sent before you walked out the door? I think it was to my dad. It was just an emoji. So that's kind of how we communicate. <laughs> nice. You know? I love when parents use emojis. I know. Like, oh my god. And he's got like the bitmoji thing too. And it looks oh, too much emojis. like him. It's very weird. That's such yeah. a parent thing. That <laughs> is definitely a parent thing. Number three. Give Refinery29 some advice for free. I've said this before. I'll say it again. And I, I always sort of love to, to hear this from other people. Um, and that is to sort of find your light, find what makes you happy, and don't let anybody tell you that it's not right for you, because if it is what makes you happy, then it can never be the wrong thing. Mm, love that. Yeah. Number two is something that you do when you're feeling blue. Sometimes I'll just sort of go into my room, light a candle, listen to some music, um, or sometimes if it's something that I kind of want to get my mind off of, I'll call some friends and go for a walk, or I don't know, just lay low. All right, so number one is, take a selfie with us. Oh, word, okay. <laughs> Ready? One, two, three. Nice. I want to talk about music. You're in the upcoming Pitch Perfect 3 movie. Yes. You also have your own music going on. When did you first fall in love with music? I can't even tell you. It was so early on in my life. I uh, grew up in a household that all different genres of music were playing from R&B on my mom's side and, and my dad was classic rock and my older brother is sort of everything in between. Music's just always been such a huge part of my life and it's always been part of my plan and wanting to record my own music, write my own music and perform and um, the acting happened first and so it sort of became a matter of like how can I do this in a way that makes sense and then Pitch Perfect 2 happened a couple years ago and that was the perfect bridge into making music, and now I'm making music, and now Pitch Perfect 3 is happening, so. Perfect combo. Yes. We're all big fans at Refinery29. Thank you. Pitch Perfect 3, I want to talk about that. How do you feel like this third installment in the series is different than the previous two? Oh gosh, well, apart from it being a lot funnier, <laughs> the music is awesome, the performance numbers are really great. We spent weeks in advance uh, preparing for those, and uh, there's a lot of great cameos in this movie that I think people are going to be really excited about. What's the vibe like on set for you guys when you're filming? Because I feel like you must have so much fun together. It really is a blast. I mean, to, to call singing and dancing for three months straight work um, is <laughs> crazy. Uh, but yeah, it's it's so lighthearted and so fun. Um, Trish C, who directed uh, the last film, is amazing and, and just set the tone for everybody and was just a fearless leader. And so your latest single was Most Girls, right? Yeah. So what would you say is the message that you want viewers or listeners um, to, to get from Most Girls? What's the message that you were trying to send with that song? Um, well, Most Girls sort of came from the experience of seeing and, and having this sort of happen to myself as well. Um, a guy complimenting a girl by, by saying they're not like most girls. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess sort of accepting that, having accepted that as a compliment in the past and, and in ways wanting to hear that from a guy. 
Um, it just occurred to me that it's really not much of a compliment. Little do they know. Um, it's slightly offensive, and, and, and it's me sort of being sort of struck by this realization that m most women, all women, girls, are, are amazing and, and intelligent and have a story and have something to offer, and I'm more aware of that now than I think I've ever been, and, and I'm inspired by that. You're so wise beyond your years, I feel like. <laughs> What's your favorite song to sing a cappella? Like, on your own, Ooh. or in the shower, in the car? I feel like I will just sing a medley of like whatever's on my mind, and that happens to be like the most random <laughs> songs. Um, I haven't stopped listening to Bruno's album. Uh, I can't wait for Miley's. I love Malibu. That's been on me too. Yes. I have a new venture. Tell us a little bit about it. What's it called? Where, what was the inspiration behind it? Why did yes. you want to get into eyewear? So this line, Prevé Revo, I am someone that has a very hard time keeping track of things with all of my travel, including sunglasses. They are incredible quality for a very affordable price. I want to try more of these on. Which Do one it. would you recommend? Whatever, you, whatever you're feeling. These I are the hard I was looking at these. those. Okay, good. I feel like you must know my <laughs> Yes, girl, work. I like them. I'm love it. it. Found my weekend look. Nah, I love it. And you always have an amazing beauty look, like with your hair and your makeup. What is mm -hmm. your kind of go-to beauty look or, or beauty secret when you're not feeling at your best? How do you kind of put a little pep in your step? Love a little mascara, a little highlight, you know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, concealer, because like, oh my god, concealer. <laughs> That's a but mess. secret, my real secret, is when I don't want to do any of that, I throw on a pair of these shades and mm. the Sunglasses will cover up anything, You really. know? Like, it's true. And you still always look like a rock star. Thank you. Thank so, you, Haley. Thanks thank for you. coming. And of course. we will talk to you guys soon. Haley Seinfeld, Yay. thanks for joining us. Thank you. See you guys next time.